Hello everyone, Mindfruit back here for another video. Today I am not in the survival kingdom. I am in a creative world and I wanted to show a few different builds that would look good in different biomes. So this is the first one right here. Um, these are all just facades and it would look well in a mesa biome or possibly a desert biome or you could technically put it in a savanna biome too. And I wanted to go over some good color palettes. So this red sandstone brick and normal terracotta and orange terracotta and spruce all go together super well, as well as if you throw a little bit of brick in there. So this adds a little bit of a walkway garden area, which looks really good and adds to the liveliness of the build a lot. It has these little cactuses, which give a nice splash of uh, color. And it also has this blue up here, or this purple, uh, which looks really good with reds. So as you can see, this is the next build. It is a a uh, snowy or an ice biome. Um, it uses quartz stairs and snow blocks as well as some prismarine walls and it has a little frozen lake out in front and it has all these snow layers as well which adds to it and this build would not have a door but it would just be an open front. This next build is a little bit more of a fantasy style build as you can see it uses the purple blocks from the end cities and it uses some blue because blue and pink go nicely together. Um, it has this little bit of concrete out in front and then this would also not have a door but just be an open front. It would be well suited to a wall design as if this was like the gatehouse but you could also turn it into a little house with three other walls on the sides. The next build is a spooky dungeon lair style build. As you can see it has this orange stained glass with lava underneath it and magma uh, which really adds to the spookiness and scariness aspect of it and then it uses a ton of nether brick and as you can see by these spikes it gives it kind of an evil imposing glare and with the stairs facing out on the top and bottom it makes it seem like kind of reclusive like it's its own thing whereas if this was the other way around and it kind of curved out it would seem a lot more jovial and um, welcoming and this uses a dark oak door which has a nice contrast to the nether bricks the next build would look good in a desert biome it is just this little desert hut and it has these walls on the side. It is a mixture of sandstone, sand, smooth sandstone, and sandstone brick. Um, it uses the jungle door, which looks awesome. And it uses these spruce fences for windows, which is a great way of giving sort of a rustic uh, feel to it instead of using actual glass panes. The next build is a simple little build that would look good in a savanna biome um, or a few other biomes. It works well as kind of a wall but it also would work if you curved it around all the way other sides for a house, probably an open concept house, so not a roof, but it has these little fences out in front with lanterns on it and the acacia door. Our final build is this probably giant taiga um, biome, which has, as you can see, the podzol and the rocks that are in the biome itself, and then it uses dark oak, spruce, and dark prismarine um, for the build palette. I wanted to give some depth to the walls, so the trapdoors really help to add to that because, as you can see, it takes up this block space, but there's still the outcropping. And this is uses the dark oak door as well because if I had used the spruce, it would have gotten lost in the spruce trapdoors. And this house has a simple dark prismarine roof, uh, but dark prismarine works really well with spruce and dark oak, so that's why I chose to use it. So as you can see, these are all the finished uh, facades. Um, make sure to let me know which one your favorite was and which one you might use in your survival world. And make sure to subscribe because I also have a survival single player world that I do a lot of videos in and it's awesome as well. So I hope you have a great rest of the day, unlike my day, it's raining now, and I will see you all in the next video.